you. Uh, I, I think uh, one thing that a, a perspective that prosecutors can bring to this discussion is, first of all, the reason people become prosecutors generally is they don't like it when other people are taken advantage of. It really goes, it really offends the very core uh, for a prosecutor. You know, I mean, I, I often joke, I don't even like when people cut in line. And, uh, <laughs> but I, I recognize there's not necessarily a remedy to that. But, but uh, so bullying is, real, is something that, uh, you know, almost everybody, almost everybody's had an experience in their life of being bullied. And uh, I think one perspective we have as prosecutors is if we don't address this, you know, today's bullies, and if we don't address it, become tomorrow's batterers. And today's victims of being bullied become tomorrow's victims. Now, I, I don't, that's a painting with a very broad brush, but it's something that encourages us to take action. I think that in a, a prosecutor's office, uh, there are two forms of power. There's hard power and there's soft power. The hard power in a prosecutor's office, in a police department, it's arresting, it's putting in jail, it's going in court and saying, find this person guilty and punish them. That's a kind of hard power. And the, most of what is done in a prosecutor's office, most of our resources, are devoted to those kinds of tasks, hard power tasks. But although we devote less resources to soft power, they're probably more important. And soft power, soft power is where you change the hearts and minds of people, <clears throat> where you try to change cultures, where you try to change what the norms in a community are. And certainly in our office, in the DA's office, we devote significant resources to this. Just a couple examples. We have something called the Parent Project, where, and I'm very grateful that in a time of really reduced funding, our Board of Supervisors stepped up and provided funding for what otherwise was kind of being run on a, a shoestring out of our office. And it's a program that teaches parents to be better parents. And parents get referred to this program through schools, through police departments, through their churches. And uh, some of the behavior that we see in schools is behavior that they are learning at home. And so we try to address this through this project. Uh, we offer it all over Santa Clara County and we offered in English and Spanish and in Vietnamese, and that, that's one example of something that we, that we do. A second initiative that we are uh, working to make happen is something called School Link Services, where uh, there's all of these different resources that are floating out there uh, to help children, to help young people, but often it, it's not centralized in the school, and so it involves a lot of cooperation and collaboration, between all different kinds of county agencies, and we're, we're spearheading that. So those are some of the, the efforts that we uh, have taken in our office. And again, uh, from a perspective of a prosecutor, it really sort of offends our sensibility for someone to be taken advantage of, uh, to be harmed or pushed or abused. And we want there to be, to be justice. We want there to be justice for that victim, and we want that offender to change their ways, and we want that this, that the climate and culture in which the bullying takes place begins to change and it's not acceptable. And so we use a combination of hard power and soft power. Jeff, thank you. 